With this content module, we have some countdown numbers when the page loads. Nice to brag about some features for the, for the client or for your own website. So we can change the colors here, we can change the stripe, we can change the background image. Let's have a look. First of all, your background image. Uh, there it is in the section module settings. The image size is 1900 by 872. Make sure you match that size for best results. Then let's go to the call to action module. We can look through here, we can change the text there. We can change the design, for example. Uh, at the moment, just a light theme is selected. So let's change the color. We'll make a darker color here, just as a sample quickly. There we go. We'll update that one. And then let's just preview quickly. So that's how you change that. I'm just gonna save. Let's move out of this one. Let's see the number counters. How do you update those? There we go. So you can start with whatever number you want, 60 for example, and we'll leave the color as is. In this one, let's change the number text color. All right, and do a quick preview. There we go. And so in order to change this stripe, we have to go into the custom CSS. There's only one that we need to update there and that's the master CSS color changer. Look for the same module name, four column numbers, content counter. There it's marked out, line color. You can see it's white over there. We're just gonna change it to the green. I'm gonna copy this rule, and then we're just gonna copy and paste it into the custom CSS box for the page. Let's click save, let's click update, and now we can have a look and everything should be changed. There we go, and these ones will be easy to update as well. You're just gonna go into this section over here, design, and make the updates. So that's how you update this module. Thanks for watching.